Okay, so the next one is the WLAN frequency band. Describe the concept about the WLAN frequency band and channel. Okay, the regulation on WLAN frequency band and the channel in the different countries. And the last is the least other WLAN device. So I start from a frequency band and the channel. ISM band. So the ISM band is stand for the industrial, scientific, and the medical. So this is one of the assembler is found by the FCC. So as you can see, all the range here. For the industrial band, it started from 902 to 928. The scientific band, which is those of the Wi-Fi 2.4 that we currently using. So in the range here, 2.4 and up to the 2.4835 gigahertz and the last one this is for the medical band so using at 5.725 and end up with 5875 IEEE 802.11 BGN specify WLAN to operate in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band so the 2.4 band is divided into the 14 overlapping 20 megahertz carrier channel so in the 2.4 we have total of uh, 14 channel so and all the channel they have occupied 5 megahertz for the 11 a and specified WLAN to operate in the 5 gigahertz frequency band and they divided even more than 2.4 gigahertz so there's a different country or the region is using a different channel or the frequency band. Like example, in America, they actually using the channel 1 to 11 only, okay, according to their um, FCC rules. In the Europe, it's using 1 to 13. Japan will have 14 channel. And in the China, it's same, they have a 13 channel. So this is a table to show you uh, all the different types of the A0 to 11 versions. So both of them, um, the release time is different. Okay, the bandwidth for the A0 to 11, B, G is using the same bandwidth. Okay, the A, N and also the AC, they can support in the 325. Number of the non-overlapping channel in A0 to 11, Okay, including the B, G, and also the 11. They have a total of three non-overlapping channels. For the A0 to 11A, they have a total of 13 non-overlapping channels, but in the China, there's only five. Okay, and this is also same to the A0 to 11AC. The modulation technology for the A0 to the 11, the, using the modulation is FHSS and also the DSSS. The B is using the CCK and DSSS. G can support all FDM. So this is the reason why B and G, they can support the rate up to 54 megabit per second. 11 support all FDM and also the MIMO technology. So with this um, technology support, the 11N can easily hit up to 300 meg. And the last one is AC. So right here, we're showing all the different rates supported by all the versions. Then the next one, I'm going to discuss the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band here. Two point four gigahertz frequency band support A zero to eleven B G and N. Only in the A zero to eleven B, each channel occupied twenty megahertz bandwidth. One channel, like example channel six, channel one, or channel eleven here, all of them occupy total of twenty megahertz. And we know every single channel, like example one channel. So one channel, they only occupy 5 megahertz. But because we actually have some of the, um, the white coverage, so one channel is not only using the 5 megahertz, so they're going to using 
some other adjacent channel at the same time. So this is the reason why we have a 20 megahertz. Okay, in the A02.11 G N, so they only occupy 20 megahertz. So A02.11 is completely compatible with A02.11B and also G. So actually the channel number 14, as you can see from the picture here, so this channel 14 actually is far away from the channel number 13. And this channel is only available in A02.11B. So this table is showing up all the um, the different country in the frequency band 2.4. So basically you can see from here, most of the country can support the channel 1 to 11. The China and many other country can use the channel 12, 13. But to the channel 14, the channel 14 is only available in the Japan. But of course, it's not every single version can support the channel 14. It's only can use in the A02.11B. Then the next one is a channel binding. So the channel binding is allow us to combine two different channel become one. So to increase our bandwidth. So this technology is very similar to those technology we use to aggregate our link. Okay, like either channel or maybe the link aggregation. And the next one, 5 GHz frequency band. So this is a 5 GHz frequency band. They can support A0 to 11A and AC. So in this channel, every channel can also occupy 20 MHz bandwidth. It's the same as just now the 2.4. And you also did notice, this is the below here, they have a channel showing uh, for all the five gears. So it started using from the channel 36 and end with 165. So each channel, they have a different band here. UNII 1, 2, 2E, and also 3. So this, this table is showing out um, the four different bands can be able to use in the two different country. The list here is only showing um, America and also the China. So basically for the China, they can support um, the, the channel 36 to 64. It's only for indoor use. Okay, so they mentioned here is for indoor use. 149 to 165. So both sides, they also can support this. Then the five gigahertz in the China. So in China, there's five non-overlapping channel working in the 5.8 gigahertz frequency band. As shown in the figure, so we have the channel 149, 153, 157, 161, and 165. Okay, so this is the uh, Aruba channel in the, the China. So we also can doing the channel binding, and this is recommended doing the channel binding in the 5 gigahertz. The reason why, because um, the 5 gigahertz have many channel, they have a uh, the less crowded channel adjacents. So we can always do doing the um, aggregating inside the, the 5 gigahertz. Okay, so for this kind of the channel aggregating, we can do the uh, 149 plus 153 or 157 plus 161. Then content number four, other non WLAN device. So this is some other um, device is not belong to the WLAN device, but same, they still broadcasting some uh, same of the um, frequency band the wire signal. Like example, the first one is an infrared remote controller. So this controller, they also um, broadcasting those of the signal within the the 2.4. So when surrounding have um, any Wi-Fi devices, they also will get interference by this device. Then the Bluetooth headset, okay, they also operate in the 2.4. Micro microwave oven, so this is also um, one of the, it, the item you actually cause a lot of the interference. So try to avoid to putting the, the APs nearby to this kind of the item. Then the next one, we have the wireless camera, radar, and the color spoon. 
Okay, so this is all the, the content here just now I already uh, discussed.